you at another episode of IPCC Global. My name is Irshad Karim and in this video I'll be discussing the different types of CCTV systems. Okay, why I am selecting this particular topic is because I have searched through uh, YouTube regarding the exact difference between IP and analog. I mean, when I say CCTV systems, there are three different types of CCTV systems. And first one is uh, IP CCTV system and second one is analog CCTV system and third one is wireless CCTV systems and forget about the wireless CCTV system because wireless is something it is not reliable okay and you know, most people, people used to uh, do the projects only wired especially not in just CCTV case in any other case also you could only uh, choose this uh, wired system because they are they will uh, they will only give the exact result and you can get rid of this fault alarms and something like that okay so what exactly uh, is the so, so coming uh, to the different types of CCD systems uh, I will write like uh, you know it's first one is analog CCD okay so when I say analog analog CCD system okay, so this one is analog and the second one is IP CCTV system. So the reason why I am writing the CCTV means most probably people get confused like you know camera uh, used to you know pronounce strongly by uh, uh, saying camera as a CCTV but they are not so okay. A CCTV means it is a system which is designed by assembling many components okay so we have we have a analog system IP system so what exactly is the difference between IP and analog so there, of course there are plenty of difference but I will uh, under a customer's perspective how we gonna distinguish this if you are uh, trying to uh, yeah, plan or if you have planned to install a CCTV system you could select whether you need analog or you need IP. Okay, so that's my point. Okay. So, analog CCTV system. In analog CCTV system, if you are uh, trying to install a big project, so, so first one is if you are performing a uh, trying to plan. Large scale project. Okay. So if you are planning a large scale project, say, uh, when I say uh, 20 plus cameras. Okay. So if you are using uh, 20 plus cameras, 20 is just an approximate. Uh, uh, number okay if you are planning 20 plus camera so bigger project then the cost will be cost will be high which cost this cost is cabling cost okay so what cabling cost will be there again labor charge will be there so this cabling or level charge won't give a better result in the solution keep in mind okay so this is the problem with analog CCTV system okay now what about IP CCTV system in IP CCTV system if you are using I mean uh, thinking about a larger project I mean same one, okay. So it is 20 plus cameras. So when I say it's cameras, here it is uh, 20 plus IP cameras. Okay, here it will be analog cameras. Okay, I will, I will discuss lately about the components and all. Okay, so here the cost will be less. And which cost? Cabling cost will be. Plus, also labor cost will be less. So this is the exact difference 
or around this one. Okay. So when I say cost, the cabling cost will be higher in analog CCD system and in IP the cost will be less. Cabling cost of course. Now this is not the case of the component cost. So component cost will be cheaper. So we can uh, here it is you know cost which is high for cabling and leather, but the cost will be less for the components. Components like you know uh, there are plenty of components which we will discuss afterwards. But here Cost is less, cabling cost and level cost. But at the same time, the component cost, okay, cost is high. Okay, so component cost is high. Even though you hear the component cost is high, the customer will get maximum benefit because he is using a standard product. Okay, so when the product is, you know, uh, charging. Uh, high in the market, of course, it will have this that quality. I mean, the specification or the uh, you know the different properties will be there within that camera. That's the reason of increasing the height in the components. So that is not the case here. In analog CCTV system, the components are cheaper, but here IP the components are higher. But even though the components cost will won't affect the customer very badly because he is actually getting that solution and he is enjoying it. Totally cool. But this is not the case for the cabling and lever. See, cabling and lever charges are actually, uh, uh, it will be, you know, uh, uh, under the customer's scope only, but the customer won't get that, that kind of uh, you know, benefit because, you know, Cabling is just to make it connect. I mean, just to uh, connect the different components used in uh, CCTV system. Okay, now I will uh, explain the components used, which we can, you know, of course, get in the YouTube also. Okay, okay. this is, you know, I, I think this is probably for the first time uh, uh, showing the difference between exact difference. Okay, when I say exact difference, it's under customer's point of view. So this is the case. And similarly, if you are using, if you see, suppose, if this is, uh, I mean, yeah, if this is just four cameras, here also, if you are using just four cameras, or four or eight, something similar, the cabling cost, level charge, all are one and the same. Okay. So for residential projects, most probably uh, a house will get covered without a, a blind spot by installing uh, something less than the 10 numbers of camera, it will be totally fine. But in commercial projects or industrial projects and all, the distance will be larger, so you know, more number of cameras need to be added in order to uh, remove this uh, blind spot. Okay, so this is the case, and if you are trying to uh, so use small scale projects then you can opt depending upon your choice if you don't have any problem with uh, economic I mean if you don't have any problem in financially then you, you, you need to go with IP and if you have any problem with uh, financial conditions then you can go with analog but totally uh, cabling cost would be remain the same but the cost would be higher in the case of component that the customer will get the benefit Okay, so totally fine. Now coming to the next uh, difference. Okay, so this is the main difference. Okay, this is the major difference. Uh, of course, I will explain uh, in detail. Not in detail, but we will explain the different components used in CCTV system. Okay, so here in analog CCD system, we use analog cameras. So analog cameras will be used. Here, 
we will use IP cameras instead. Okay. And here we use coax cable. Here we use network cable. Okay, network cables or category cables like Cat5, Cat6, any cables. Okay. Now here we need to connect this camera with something okay so this cameras will be you know connected to DVR okay so cameras will be connected to DVR here instead cameras and IP cameras will be connected to PoE switch okay PoE switch. You could use PoE or non PoE switch, but if you use PoE switch, that will be more convenient because no further uh, cables are not needed to power up the cameras. Okay, both the power and the network, will, or the, the signal and the, uh, the I mean the data and the power will be taken from the PoE switch itself. Okay, so this is the difference. So camera will be connected to DVR. Here the IP camera will be connected to PoE switch. Now, here DVR, DV, DVRs are used. Okay. Here, I mean, digital video recorder. Here, NVRs are used. Okay. Network video recorder. Also, here we use BNC connectors. BNC connectors and DC pins. Okay. In order to uh, here you need both. Okay, just you need to power up the camera by means of DC pin, and the communication or the video signals are coming. I mean, terminated by means of DNC. Here instead we use RJ45 plug. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is the difference between. I mean, the components difference between analog and IP. Even though you, you won't recognize any difference, but the point is that in IP CCTV systems, uh, we can use different number of POA switches. For, uh, for example, just compare a 10 floor building uh, equipped with uh, analog CCTV and IP CCTV system. Here in the analog CCTV system, we need to, you know, uh, connect, uh, for example, uh, if you are uh, planning uh, 50 number of cameras in a, a five-story building. Okay, here each and every cameras need to be connected directly with the DVR. So some 64 channel DVR or uh, 232 channel DVR or anything. Okay, just need to connect. One to one cabling is needed. So one to one cabling means you know the distance or I mean the cabling cost will be higher. Just like I said. But here, in IP CCD system, you could choose at least uh, three or four switches and just connect all the, I mean, uh, for fifth floor, you could connect that, uh, you know, eight cameras or any cam number of cameras directly to the switch. And similarly, in the fourth floor also, connect all the cameras with another switch. And in third floor also, connect all the cameras in that particular floor to uh, that particular switch. And finally, need to connect all those switches directly and finally from the last switch you need to connect it with your NVR and this is the physical uh, connections that uh, is done in the IPCC system thereby reducing the cabin cost hope you understood what exactly I mean and uh, also uh, you know some sort of configurations or called IP configurations need to be done in the IP CCTV system because you know each and every cameras will have what each and every cameras will have a unique IP okay 
I mean, uh, we, we, we should give a unique ID, but they, you, they will have a default IP address. Each and every camera will have a default IP camera. I mean, I mean, if you default IP address, which we need to change. Okay, because in networking, two cameras won't have same set of IP address. That will make an IP conflict, which will, you know, uh, cause problem in communication. So it's technically called IP conflict. And if you connect uh, without uh, configuring two IP cameras, it won't work. So this is not the case in analog CCD system. Even a, a, a normal guy can easily install this analog CCD system. But this is not the case for IP CCD system. We need to change the IP, I mean default IP to some any, any, any other IP depending upon the router's uh, IP, I mean, uh, internal router's IP or gateway. Then we need to change this default IP to a particular pattern and change one by one. Okay. Maybe I will uh, explain uh, how to configure the IP in the coming videos. Okay, so for the time being, hats off. And if you haven't, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any doubts regarding the topics that I have said just now, just uh, you know, comment section. Okay, bye bye.